Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. So today I've got another speed build for you and this one is really special because it's part of a project that I'm really, really excited to share with you guys. So it is actually the house that I'm planning on using for my next LP. So if you are new to my channel, I've currently got an LP on the go, which is an eco lifestyle rags to riches. Let's play. And I kind of start that purely to explore the gameplay in eco lifestyle. And I feel like I've done that now. And I'm coming to the point with the storyline where it can reach a natural conclusion and I want to move on and start a project that I've been wanting to do for absolutely ages and that is an animal rescue let's play. <laughs> if you are new here or you for some reason are not aware because I talk about it absolutely all the time but I am obsessed with animals on this channel so I've mentioned like 10 billion times that I really really want horses in the game and the minute we only have cats and dogs and then obviously small pets from my first pet stuff but what I want to do is I want to use the animal rescue mod that enables you to basically have a career as someone who rescues animals or I guess runs like a charity where you can rescue animals so that's basically going to be the gameplay and I want it also to be slightly more structured than my current let's play at the minute I'm doing obviously a rags to riches so I just sort of play in real time with you guys and make funny remarks when something goes wrong or townies do things that are annoying but it's basically just quite grindy in terms of the actual events and I try and make it as interesting as possible with holidays and different characters and relationships that are going on but it's still not as planned as I want it to be so for this LP I really want to basically plan out a storyline completely in advance and really really think and structure each episode and make it the best that it can possibly be and I'm really really excited about this so I hope you like that. Let me know what you think of the idea of a slightly more structured let's play if that's something that's not for you then I would like to know that still so comment down below if you have any passionate feelings. So the idea for this house is basically that it is a small cottage and it's going to be the home of my main character who is going to be the person in the animal rescue career and so it's got loads of places for animals to be but I also wanted it to be like a starter home. It's not a starter home because it's probably way more expensive than 20,000 simoleons but, but I'm thinking that she'll eventually get more money and get more success in her career and maybe move into a massive farmhouse type thing when she is more successful. So this is her starter cottage <laughs> and I tried to make it autumn themed because I want to start the Let's Play in autumn. I love autumn, it's my favourite season so I'm really really excited to play in those autumn vibes and I've put the lot in Windenburg as well because I just wanted to be really rural really cozy and then in the garden I end up making like a little outdoor animal rescue pen type thing so it's like a little shed and it's got an indoor and outdoor pen for two animals or two families of animals and basically my thoughts behind that were that all of the pets will live indoors but I'm going to create animals that are not necessarily cats and dogs using the cats and dogs CAS tool so I'm gonna create like badgers, foxes, deer, things like that to look after in the let's play and I'm also going to use the CC or mods for small animals that uses the my first pet stuff as small animal objects and they I think they have like rabbits, ferrets, guinea pigs, things like that and I also want to have like hedgehogs obviously that we can have in the game and hamsters so I'm really really excited to explore all the different animals that we can come up with this let's play and then the other thing that I wanted to sort of announce in this video was that I'm currently organizing a collab project and it's a big open collab project so there's no limit to the amount of people that can join but if you're interested it is relating to animals so <laughs> so if you're watching this video you might be interested in that and it's called Brindleton Bay in autumn and the deadline is the 24th of November so the premise is that everyone chooses a lot in Brindleton Bay. Well if you don't have cats and dogs it doesn't have to be in Brindleton Bay but it's got to be in autumn and again you don't have to have seasons for it to be in autumn but you can just somehow hint at that being a theme and the build has got to relate to animals and autumn in whatever way that you choose. So I think I've made a list of examples that I've got on my discord so if you want to join my discord and get more information and chat with other people that are in the club 
Lab project, then I'll link that down below. Anyone can join. So some of the ideas of animal-related builds have been animal rescue centres, vets, farmhouses, pet shops, cat and dog cafes. I think someone is doing a natural history museum and an aquarium and a fisherman's house or fisherman's market or something like that. So literally anything you can think of that relates to animals at all, you can build it in this collab. So yeah, I hope there's a few people that might be interested in that because basically I really wanted it to be an open collaboration because I wanted it to be a networking opportunity for people. I didn't want it to be a competition. I didn't necessarily want there to be a prize or a winner because I don't know, sometimes I don't feel like that's very fun. I kind of like the idea of it being open and just to get to know people and make new friends because that's how I have fun most on my channel anyway. But yeah, in terms of the build then, I've basically just been going on and on and not been talking about what I've been doing at all. But you notice that I'll, I go back and forth an awful lot with all of the details and that's basically because I knew that I was going to be living and playing in this house. So I was trying to make it look perfect and also be spaced out perfectly as well. I changed the floors a load, I changed the walls a load. I end up making the walls in the bathroom green and I changed the colour of that table by the sink as well. But you can see that in the screenshots. I don't think I actually do that in the speed build. Basically because at the end of finishing the bulk of the build, I basically went back and changed a few details, but I was literally just going back and forth and back and forth, constantly changing my mind on a couple of things. So I didn't bother recording it because I didn't think you guys would want to watch that anyway, because it was quite messy. But yeah, so I really like the bathroom, how it turned out with the stained glass windows and in the bedroom as well. At first, I tried to make it so that the bedroom was actually upstairs in like an attic type area, but I was really struggling to work out how to do it properly with the roof so that you could view it in live mode easily. That's something that I want to work out how to do well, but I think it might require just one side of the roof to be at an angle and there at least to be one full-sized wall within the room because I think I cut out all of that footage so you won't actually see me play around with that because like I said it was also a bit of a shambles. So I tried using half walls and that didn't work and then I tried using some full walls that would fit within the roof but that just made the room absolutely tiny and that looks silly and then I tried to have it with no walls whatsoever so that you just had to have the walls down when you were in live mode and that just looked stupid and it wasn't really working at all either so I changed it and moved the bedroom downstairs instead and that meant that I just had to sort of widen the front of the house which I don't know it's not ideal it doesn't look quite how I want it to look but I think it looks better than how the bedroom was looking so that's okay. So that's why you see a load of footage of me moving around the different rooms in the downstairs and that little laundry room especially. And then I change all of the floors to that red timber as well and I think that just makes it so much more autumnal. <laughs> and I also changed the wallpapers in the living room as well so that vampire wallpaper. I used that in my Dragonfly Inn build and I absolutely fell in love with the use of that wallpaper. I'd never used used it before in a house like this in a cottage because I just can't get over the bats, the fact that they're decorative bats, but I thought it looked really good how I used it before so I just wanted to use it again because yeah it just makes it feel so cottagey and homey so I really liked that. I really wanted to make this house on this specific lot as well because I discovered it not too long ago and I absolutely fell in love with this lot. It's so cosy and it's got that lake and river running by it and it's got this really rural dirt track lane running up to the house which is so perfect for a little cottage build but the lot itself is really quite small and I just wish it was just that bit bigger so that we could have some garden space and have this sized house as well because it is a small house it, it you know it's a bungalow and it's only a one bedroom house as well so yeah I do quite a lot of landscaping which I guess takes up a lot of room just trees sort of cover a load of the garden and make it not really usable and I've got that shed for the animals as well that does take up some space but yeah I really wanted to have like a load of the dog training objects in the front garden which we barely 
barely have room for. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. I might edit it slightly by the time that I end up playing it with the LP, but the minute I just put it in with the front fenced area by the animal shed, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. It's like the little outdoor sheltered area for the animals. Other than that, the main Sims news at the minute is the new Snowy Escape expansion pack, and I'm really excited about it. I've seen the live stream that the Sim Gurus did, and I've seen a bit of footage from all the Simmers that works on the pack and that have early access to it as well. And I am really, really excited. I'm kind of disappointed about a few things. I really wish that they had a career. I know they've got a career, like the salary person career. I wish they had a career that wasn't a rabbit hole career and one that related to the expeditions or the winter sports in one way. I don't know. I feel like now the only way that you can really use that world is if you're going on vacation. There's no way for your sims to be completely immersed in that world of snow sports. They could have had an instructor career or a trail guide and hotels as well. They didn't include hotels, which I know would have been a whole massive load of work for the sim gurus and they probably were kind of focusing more on other aspects that they knew we definitely would want in a specifically winter themed pack, whereas they can add hotels in a gameplay pack, for example. I don't know, maybe I'm being a bit harsh. I just feel like if I was going to do a let's play in that world, then I would want a career that related to those winter activities and there doesn't seem to be anything that I could think of. Maybe if you had a winter activity shop or like a restaurant, you can't even run a spa or run the bathhouse that they introduced. So I don't know, let me know down below if you can think of anything that you could make money from other than the things I mentioned. It's such a beautiful world that they've created and they've added so many cool things to do there, but just not career is and that's really important to me because otherwise like 90% of the time that your sims are alive you're not doing anything interesting necessarily they're just kind of going into a rabbit hole so that's a shame but I love all of the other stuff that they've added like I'm really excited about sentiments I'm not so excited about lifestyles I feel like some of them overlap a lot with the traits and we should really get some new traits for example we already have the lovely outdoors trait that sort of translates into the outdoorsy lifestyle and also you can't choose these lifestyles whereas I would like to assign them to my sims and for them to dictate how my sims act based on what I choose for them rather than my sims being forced into a box based on what happens in gameplay possibly accidentally. So yeah that's just a minor issue that I'm kind of concerned about but the cheats are easy to remove them so that's good I suppose. But yeah let me know down below what you think of my idea for my let's play whether or not you're interested in my collab project and what you think of Snowy Escape as well because I'm really excited about it and I would love to chat to you guys about what you think. So we're coming up to the end of the video now so thank you so much for watching. If you liked it please like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye guys!